Hi, in this video, we're going to cover module two Excel workbook guidelines and rubric. Okay, so let's begin. So here is the overview of the assignment. We are using the Superstore Excel workbook from module one and just kind of continuing our data analysis from module one. And basically, as an overview, what this project would like you to do is look at three variables, product types, states, and shipping modes. Basically, pick two of those three variables is what it's asking you to do. Pick two of those three variables and do some analysis, okay? And as you can see down here, here's your guidelines for submission of the project, which requires you to submit your Excel workbook along with a short paper, one to two pages of, you know, just kind of an overview of your analysis of the data, okay? And then I highly recommend you review the Module 2 Excel workbook rubric too as well. Um, this will kind of give you some great guidelines on what you need to produce for the assignment, okay? But without any further ado, let's go to the Excel workbook. I'm gonna go ahead and click in Excel here. And I have my workbook open. I'll go to the orders sheet, which has all my data for this assignment. And obviously, as we covered in module one here, you can see this, the orders have several variables to select from here for each order. And if we look here, here's our category, subcategory, our um, state, and there is a shipping mode right here in column E. Okay, so those are the three, four variables they want you to look at. Again, I'm breaking out the type as in category and subcategory, okay? So again, I have here the shipping mode, the state, the category, subcategory, and then our sales, quantity, discount, profit, those are the numerical numbers for each of the sales, if you would. But um, I'm really curious on quantity, okay? So I'm gonna focus on the quantity sold, all right? And specifically, I'm gonna look at state and category, subcategory. So those are the three variables I'm gonna focus on for my analysis, okay? So first, good idea to take a step back, look at your data, pick your, your you know, of those variables, pick two of them and say, okay, here's what I'm gonna do my analysis on, all right? So let's begin. I'm going to go ahead, go back here to cell A9. Click data. I'm sorry, click insert, pivot table. And it selects the whole range for me, if you would. I'm going to click existing worksheet. And the assignment said to use the data visualization sheet. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to start over here, make it easy in cell A1. All right, so now I can make a pivot table. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna select, as I said, I'm gonna look at my, um, ah, category, subcategory, and quantity sold. And quantity, so here we go, quantity, so. And I can also do this, I can actually, actually add a filter if I would, I wanna do a filter on category. And I'll also do a filter on, um, no, I'll leave this be, I'll let it, no, I'm gonna do a filter on subcategory actually. And I also wanna do is this, I'm just kinda curious to see what's the overall sales trend that is. So I'm gonna do by order date. So now here, I have the category as a filter, the subcategory as a filter, and then the order date. As you can see down here, here's the data here. Category, subcategory here is my filters, and then the rows that lets me select from quarter, years, quarter, and order date. So if you look here, I can actually click the plus here for like 2015, for example, and breaks out by quarter. I select quarter one, and breaks out by month. So I can expand and collapse on each of the years, okay? All right, so I can also do this. Now that I have um, this pivot table, I'm gonna select here, this area here, my years in the sum of the quantity, and I'm gonna go insert pivot chart. I'm gonna do a line chart. I always like to show the markers, so I'm gonna go ahead and show the markers. And I got a nice line chart here showing my sales, okay? So this shows the sales, the quantity sold each year, okay? 
And now the nice thing about this is because I added these filters, I can click here and select a particular, um, you know, category, such as furniture. I can select a specific subcategory, such as chairs. And we'll come back to this in a few minutes. So let me go ahead and select all my items. Okay, I can also click on the line here and I can add data labels. I like to show the data labels. So now I have the data labels. So notice how these numbers coincide with the numbers here in my pivot table, all right? So I got my first, I got a trend line showing for each year here. My trend chart shows each year and shows the specific quantity sold, okay? I can also format the numbers. I can highlight this section here and put a comma. Oh. So better formatting, okay? So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go back now. So now I have my nice little trend showing me by year the quantity sold. I'll go back to orders. I'll do insert, pivot table, selects the range again for me. I'll use an existing worksheet, location, data visualization, and I'll, I'll put my new, new, new pivot table here in cell J1. And I'm again, I'm going to focus now. I'm going to do this. I'm going to select here. I'm going to do my category as a filter. I'm going to do a subcategory here for a row. And obviously, I'm focusing on the quantity sold. So I'll go ahead and put that as my value. Okay. And I, I, again, I like to show the commas. So I'll select my new numbers here, comma. Reduce my decimal places. And notice here, I have a grand total of 37,873. 37,873 is my quantity sold. And again, over here, I have my grand total of 37,873. Okay. So now I can go ahead and I can actually do a select my category here and I'll do furniture. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing here with category furniture for my filter. And notice the quantity, the grand quantity sold, 8,028, 8,028. And I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to put create a pie chart here because the category is furniture showing the subcategory of the items I've sold. So I'm going to go ahead and select these four rows here and do insert, pivot chart. I'll do a pie chart. And so now I have a nice pie chart here. It gives me a nice visual here of my quantity that is I, the quantity sold. And when I do a pie chart, I always like to select the pie chart, right click and add my data labels. But <clears throat> I like to specify what information I like to show in a data label. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-click it, right click format data labels. I have a lot of options to choose from. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the category name, the value and the percent. Always like to show my data labels on the outside. Close this here. And you can see I have a better visualization here. It shows me my, you know, the pie chart here, but shows me the subcategory, the quantity and the percent. So let's go down here. I'm going to insert a couple more pivot tables here. Go back to my order data. And I'm going to do insert pivot table. And again, it selects all the data for me. Same routine, existing worksheet, location, data visualization. I'll put it, I'll scroll down here, give myself some room. I'll do A45, enter. Okay. Okay, now let's look at state. So I'm going to go ahead and do, well, first of all, I'm going to do my category as a filter, select my subcategory as a filter, select state as my row, and select quantity as my value. 
Uh, now notice we have a nice pivot table here showing me all the states and how much we sold. Notice again, the grand total here. Um, but we'll filter it out in a second. Let's first of all, we'll make our change here. We'll change this to a display to comma, move to decimal places. Okay, so let's go back. We'll filter out on category furniture. And so you can see here, we have 8,028 quantities sold. So again, my numbers all match. I always like to do that as a test here to make sure all the numbers match in the pivot table. So that's a good thing. So, but you know what? This is a lot of data here. Um, I'm just gonna be concerned with the top 10 states. That is the top 10 states we sold the most quantity in, okay? How do I do that? I'm gonna select any, any state. Okay, I'll select Arizona. I'm gonna right click on this row here. And it says here, filter. And I have an option here, top 10. So now this says here, show top 10 by the sum of quantity. So it's gonna show me the top 10 row, top 10 states that is by quantity. And there we have it. So this is saying, hey, here's the top 10 states of quantity. We had obviously several states, we narrowed it down to the top 10. Um, not bad. Still want to change a couple of things here. So I can go here, actually click on quantity here and do a, I actually click on a value here, I'll click on California and I'll do a sort largest to small. So it's saying here that, hey, of furniture, your top 10, California was number one, New York was number two, Texas is number three and so on and so forth, okay? Now I can go ahead and create a, a visualization. I'll put it down here. I'll do, um, well, let me select my states here. Insert. Pair chart. And here's a nice visualization to match this pivot table. And I obviously like to display my values. I'm going to right click on here and add my data labels. Okay, so now I have a, 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 a visualization of top 10 states. Okay. And the nice thing about this, I can go back here. Let's look at it. I just want to focus on one piece of furniture subcategories that is chairs. I can go select chairs here. And notice here, the quantity sold changed to 2,356, which matches here, category, and here's my four subcategories, chairs, 2,356. Down here, I can do the same thing. I'll change my subcategory to chairs. And this only shows me my top 10 states. So the, the grand total is not going to match, okay, the 2,356, okay? So it kind of shows me that, but I can also do this. Let's do one more quick pivot table here. Corner, sir, pivot table. Same routine, existing sheet, data visualization. I'll put over here and say, okay. Same thing here, I can do a um, category, subcategory state, and then quantity. Same routine, I'll, I'll, I'll highlight this column here. Home, comma, remove decimal places. Now, this shows me all the states, so let's do it in highest to lowest. So I'll select Alabama, say, and uh, I'll select the number here and do a sort, it's gonna do it alphabetically. So I guess like just the value here to do it numerically. So I'll do sort largest to smallest and there we go. So now I have a largest to smallest, but again, I wanna just show my furniture in chairs. So if I look here, this is the grand total is 2,356. I'll scroll up. Furniture, chairs, by year. Sum is 2,356. 
Over here, my pie chart shows chairs, two, three, five, six. My state showing all the states, that is, two, three, five, six. And again, this is in numeric order from top to bottom. And this is just the top 10. This is just the top 10. It's not going to match the two, three, five, six number because, again, I'm only looking at the top 10. Okay. So they can, this is some good insight. Now I could do a lot of analysis just simply on one particular category and subcategory in my data here on, you know, what's the trend here? What's going on with chairs? Percent of overall furniture, you know, and obviously by state, top 10 states and whatnot. So that gives me a good analysis, good, some good visualizations and analysis if I want to talk about uh, the chairs. And I can obviously switch this one here. I can do one more thing here. I'll click, right click here. Notice my filter here was the top 10. I can actually clean this up and say, okay, let's do the bottom 10. Hmm. Bottom 10. Which obviously is displayed here too as well. But here's my bottom 10. So I can look, look at it different, different, different ways and whatnot. Okay. So, okay. I hope this helps you with module two, Supercell, Superstore Excel workbook. And thank you very much.